Three cities, one newspaper, five headlines. Hospitals will face action for abnormal oxygen usage. UT shops open from 9 to 4. 80% dip in daily COVID cases. Antibiotic overuse may create superbugs. And morning horror after bedtime strong. Thanks for joining the 57th edition of Monday Review. I am Shatuji Chakravarti with new reflections on 7 days of reading TUI. Coming up, a 75-year-old COVID action plan and a cocktail therapy. Believe it or not, a COVID action plan is ready since 1946 and you can't become a doctor without studying it. British Indian Civil Service Officer Joseph William Bohr's report on how to avoid another pandemic of the scale of 1918 Spanish flu was implemented only 4% in three quarters of a century. He wanted primary health centers of 75 beds for every 10,000 to 20,000 population, besides secondary hospitals of 650 beds and district hospitals of 2,500 beds with attached medical colleges. A 1952 program built PSCs for every 1 lakh population instead of 20,000 along with aims for research. Each PSC was to have six different specialists, six nurses and 50 others. Each secondary hospital was to have 140 doctors, 180 nurses and 178 others. Each district hospital was to have 269 doctors, 625 nurses and 773 others, besides those attached medical colleges. The reality, cities that were to have 13,000 government hospital beds have managed only 500 in 75 years. The Spanish flu that spread from the European trenches of World War I infected 50 crore people or a third of the world's population and killed at least 5 crore. With no vaccine for the virus or drug for the secondary bacterial infections, the control was limited to isolation, quarantine, good personal hygiene, use of disinfectants and limit on public gatherings. People tried a variety of cures, some practical and effective, others questionable and amusing. Seems familiar. Babies of that time have received the COVID-19 shot now as centenarians. Talking of shots, first given to Donald Trump when he was US president, the monoclonal antibody cocktail therapy against COVID-19 has come to the tri-city. A private hospital in Mohali gave it to a 70-year-old patient who is stable despite diabetes and kidney disease. TOI's Shimona Kanwar spoke to Dr. Zafar Ahmed, who treated this patient. And my colleague Misha Pillai will decode what he said. Thanks, Satrajit. Here is what an antibody cocktail therapy is. It is a combination of two monoclonal antibodies, which are proteins that the body generates to protect itself against diseases. Monoclonal antibodies are created in a laboratory, while the normal antibodies develop in the body of a COVID-19 patient after about 14 days of infection. How does it work? Swiss company Roche's cocktail of Casirivimab and Imdivimab antibodies attack the spike protein of the COVID-19 virus to block its attachment and subsequent entry into the human body. It is injected into the veins. Who are the ideal candidates? Somebody in the early stages, which is five to seven days after the first symptoms show up. Also, those above 65 and in home isolation with an oxygen level of 93, no immediate oxygen requirement, but high risk of infection on account of conditions like obesity, diabetes, sick liver, lung diseases, and heart ailments. The recipient must be an adult with mild to moderate case of COVID-19. Any word of caution? It was tried in the US on Donald Trump, but it is not for everyone. We are late bringing it to India, but it will be helpful in the third wave. Allergic rash, low pulse and shock can be some of the side effects. It is not a magic drug and only slows down the infection by about 70%. It cannot be given to the following people. People who have been vaccinated and those who have already mounted an antibody response. Does it work against the variants? There are not many definite direct studies or Indian data, but it is expected to work. What is the cost? It is 1 lakh and 20,000 rupees for one vial of 1200 milligrams. But since the DCGI has approved only half a dose for the Indian population, it comes down to about 60,000 rupees. Thanks, Misha. 
See you next Monday viewers. For your TOI copy, call us at this number 1800 Please like, share and subscribe and get vaccinated.